Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have Vegeta. Plain old black haired Vegeta from Dragon Ball. So I've drawn Majin Vegeta, I think Super Saiyan Blue. I haven't drawn just standard Vegeta. Grumpy standard Vegeta. Prince of Saiyans. Okay, so landscape page. Use a pencil, hit pause if I go too fast. You, you probably know the drill by now. So let's just go. So we're about center point on our page, right? Well, lower than center point. And we're gonna start with the um, W that's in the center of his eyes. So we go with this sort of square sort of W shape. Right in the center. And then out from that, the eyebrows go. So, tick diagonally. Go on this way. And then we have a box like end. And then we go down the other way. And we gradually want to get a bit skinnier as we go down. Okay. And then it curves up into there. Of course, they're they're black, <clears throat> colored in. So I'll do that when I draw the other one. So we'll do the other one. Might as well. So curves up, and we'll tick it up. Go on this way, like that. And the skinny other end goes up to the box-like end back here. So, now we can color them in dark. And sometimes Vegeta will have those lines just on the edge, edge of his eyebrows. You know, just before they go up to meet his sideburns and stuff. But his eyes now, so standard Dragon Ball eyes. So to do them, you just do a small line there, and then a diagonal longer line here. And then we join them together with a curved or straight line. You could you, you could be straight or curved, it's up to you. And then his eye, half circle underneath his eyebrow, just there, and they're black. He's not Super Saiyan or anything, so you can just color them in black. Do the same thing over the other side. So, small line, just there close to his nose, and then the longer line over here, just close to the end of his eyebrow, and then bring this over like so and then his half circle iris just there and colored in black like so and then we have those tick lines cheek sort of tick lines just that Dragon Ball characters have underneath their eyes and he has some brow lines as well. Uh, right, his nose, so pretty easy. You just do like an L, just going down like this, like so. And it's got a shadow on this side, so like it goes down to there, kind of goes back up underneath into there. Uh, Vegeta's mouth is real close to his nose, like, well, all Dragon Ball characters have a mouth really close to their nose, and it's but it's just like a grumpy sort of downturn sort of thing, like that, real small. And then the line for, like, his bottom lip and chin just there. Like, in terms of proportionality, there isn't much. Dragon Ball characters, this face is real small. The, no the distance from the eyes to the nose is still about the same as the nose to the chin, so... Say like if his chin was, what type of chin does he have? Ah, oh, it's square enough sort of chin. So it goes like that way, kind of a standard chin. So I'd say eyes to nose is still the same as nose to chin, the bottom of his nose. See, there to there is about the same as there to there. And then the bottom lip line is about halfway between the nose and the chin. So here to here is about the same as here to here. But you know, it's not 100% in proportion, like it's distorted proportion, so you don't need to worry too much about it. <clears throat> so then, we'll do the jaw. Goes up the side. 
stop about underneath his eye there and about mouth level and then you do the same thing on the other side going up about there just underneath his eye and about mouth slash nose level so when you're at that level you want to change direction and go up the side of his face like that so just here we're going to change turn the corner go up the side of his face there and Dragon Ball characters have big ears so Vegeta is one stick right out out from the top there back down and under real big nearly the length of his whole jaw and back in to there and add some ear lines so the easiest way to do ear lines is just like a letter J kind of like that Okay, and you can you can literally leave it like that if you wanted. But if you didn't want, you can add more detail, more lines inside. Coming down, going up the other way. You know, just some extra little bits. Lines and stuff inside. You know, as much as you wanted. Every artist does it a different way. There's no one way. Okay, so his hair. So we'll start with the sideburns here first. I'm gonna do his hairline. So we got a sideburn here, coming up from the edge of his ear. Just there. And then this curves around. So Vegeta's hairline is very big. So it curves, spikes. Same on both sides. Up like this and it comes to like a spike that's in the middle of his head so it wraps around to like a V that's like right down here okay so we're going up and around so we'll go up and it kind of turns around here and then comes down to that V okay and in terms of proportion like so the eyebrow, see the top of his eyebrow here to the hairline is about the same as the eyebrow to the chin, okay? Top of the eyebrow now. So here to chin level is about the same as here to hairline level, approximately. And you do pretty much the same thing on the other side. So you just go up, over, and down. there and you can see the sides his temples you know the side sides of his head this kind of thing and sometimes he'll have a line just on his sideburn as well so the rest of Vegeta's hair coming out from the back of his ear so we have a small Dragon Ball spike back like so and we bring it up so they get they get gradually bigger as we go up so we go up to about there, bring it back in, you know, and keep it kind of symmetrical. So there's two similar ones on this side too. Small one, bigger one, like that. And we'll keep going up. So. So there, back down. And then he has like a big one going right up the center. So it goes up right up to the top of my page there. Back down. And then next one. Spikes up. Spike it back. So his hair is like black. So there is some in here, I'll draw them in, but you sometimes you can't see them if you color his hair just like all black. But I'll draw them in and we'll see how we go. So we have another one here. Big one, this one comes down to about there. So I've seen them where there's like one on each side or like one big one in the middle with two on either side. So let's see what will I do. So I think we'll just, we'll add one going diagonal, maybe up the middle here, say. Let's say up like so, up towards the 
center. Maybe that way. Back down. Somewhere down there. Like that maybe. And then maybe we'll bring this line just down a bit further down to there. That probably makes a bit of sense. But normally his hair is all black anyway, so you know you don't really need to worry too much about it. We can bring some of these lines just down a bit further. That's not too bad. Okay, so his neck, so we do his neck coming down here from his ear, neck coming down the other side, just there. And trapezius muscle, so neck muscle coming diagonal that way and diagonal that way on both sides. And then we have his t shirt, so comes around the collar of his shirt. Big U shape, comes around up and underneath to there, like so. Up and down around, so that goes in behind his back, just there. Neck muscles inside, so curves down, like so. Diagonal sort of line, curves down like that. Maybe like Adam's apple sort of lines, just there and his chest, so we have like his clavicle just in the middle and his chest comes across like so. Chest comes across like that. And some more anatomy, so some more like neck muscles here. Like so, one comes down like that. You know, maybe some trapezius sort of lines just going that way. Some more neck muscles. Stuff like that, right? So he's he's got his arms folded, right? So he's some arms folded across the front of his chest, right? Right. So the rest of his shirt, so it comes down across like this, so like so. These are like fold lines for his t-shirt, just there, and then this will come down around his shoulder, just there. Okay, same thing on the other side pretty much. You do a couple of bumping, kind of fold lines just here for where the fabric folds around his shoulder. This kind of thing again. And then the inside will go down to here. Okay, so shoulder, big curving shoulder, around like that, like so. Pretty much same thing over here. So big curving shoulder line, out with a fire, big curve line in under there. Okay, so like two just balls sticking off the side of his body, just there like that. And then we can see some of his tricep just going down, bumping out like this, down off the bottom of my page, same over here, like so. And then his arms are folded, right? So we've, we can see one bicep, one full bicep here. So it just comes down like that. Right, on the other side of that bicep just goes down off the page there. And then there might be some extra shoulder muscle lines just here, like so. And right, so then like his wrist is going in there. So if you fold your own arms, if you fold them, you can see one wrist goes into one armpit, like into your armpit. And the other fingers are on top of the other bicep, right? So that's what we'll do for him. So this is his wrist, right? So he's got those white gloves on. Right? So the wrist comes down like so. And then kind of curves around for the glove part. And then his forearm 
comes out from the glove, right? And like maybe some extra sort of folds just here for his wrist that's going in that way. So the bicep, the other bicep goes in underneath his fingers. So if you fold your arms, you'll see that your fingers rest like on a bicep, right? So let's see, so fingers and then like the other side of the bicep say here. Okay, so this gap has fingers in it. So like one, two, three, and an index finger, the last one, just there, okay? And these just each have a top, so they down. Behind like that. Maybe some fold lines here and some knuckle lines just on the top of the glove. Similar thing going on like here. And again, up like so down behind each knuckle. Beep, 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 beep. And the next one, just on top here. Some knuckle lines there and there. And then some like shoulder lines again on that shoulder, similar to the other side. Doesn't have to be exactly the same, but just sort of sinewy shoulder lines. And then maybe like the full line underneath his t-shirt here. Maybe another one there, armpit. Full lines like that. Here. Boop. And I think that's it. Yeah. Maybe like a wrist line or something coming out of his glove. There you go. How to draw Vegeta in his normal black haired form. Hope it was helpful guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.